Horses are animals that are loved by most of the people in and around the world. They are majestic and handsome and are used for various activities. Horses are used in many sports activities like horse races, polo, etc. Horses are very hard to maintain as they require a lot of care. Proper food should be given to the horses for them to do the activities they are supposed to do. They need a special diet to maintain their bodies in a healthy and strong state. Horses are usually of three types, depending upon their temperament. The three types are hot blood, cold blood, and warm bloods. The hot blood is the horses that are used in races, the cold bloods are the ones used for domestic works, and the warm bloods are used for making new breeds of horses for racing purposes. Horses are very popular in America, and there are about 9.2 million horses in America, which is taken care of by 4.2 million people. A hypothesis states that horses supposedly survived the Ice Age in America and then went extinct due to some reasons. In this video, we are going to know how did horses get to America after almost going totally extinct. Before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified for more amazing pets content. With that being said, let's begin. Horses and their history with America. Horses are very popular in America because of the history of the Wild West. The horses that are now in America are not Native American horses. The Native American horses went extinct during Pleistocene. So the horses that are in America are horses that were brought from different continents for trade or other purposes. The above information gives rise to the question, how did horses get to America? The horses started to graze the American soil once again only thousands of years later. These horses were brought into America from Iberia. The Iberian horses were first brought to Hispaniola. Then, later on, these horses were brought into other countries like Panama, Mexico, Brazil, Peru, and Argentina. The Iberian horses entered the United States of America in the year 1538, and they were first brought to the state of Florida. To get a thorough knowledge and to know the complete answer to the question, how did horses get to America? Let's dive in further. The details of the first horses to be brought into the main continent are interesting and mind-boggling. The first horses that were brought into the continent of America were brought in by a person called Hernan Cortez in the year 1519. He introduced 16 horses to America that were specifically identified. The later years saw people like Coronado and De Sato bringing horses from Spain and from other parts of the world where there were horse establishments set up by the Spanish people. This gives us answers to the question, how did horses get to America? Horses and their return to North America. The horses went extinct in North America many thousands of years ago due to a lot of reasons that are hypothesized. The two main reasons for their extinction were major climate changes and over-exploitation by humans. This brings many questions in everyone's mind about their journey to the American continent. More often than not, people wonder, how did horses get to America? And more specifically, how did horses get to North America? The horses returned to North America in the year 1519 as said above. They were first brought to Virgin Islands and from there, they spread to the Great Plains of North America in the years that followed. This answers the question, how did horses get to North America? Another question that arises in everyone's mind is, were there horses in North America before the Spanish? There were horses in North America before 13,000 or 11,000 years ago. However, they got extinct and horses returned to North America during the Spanish conquest. The horses that escaped then wandered off into other parts of the American continent. Thus. Horses spread both in North and South America. We hope you would have now found the answer to the question, were there horses in North America before the Spanish? After answering the question, how did horses get to America, there are still some more questions that need answering. One of them is, were there horses in North America prior to Columbus's arrival? Horses in North America, pre-Columbian, date back to thousands and thousands of years ago. The horses only returned back to North America once after Christopher Columbus's arrival. They were not the first horses that grazed the American soil. Horses in North America, pre-Columbian, went extinct. South America and its horses. Horses in South America are descendants of the horses that were brought along with the Spanish during the Spanish conquest. One of the most famous horses in South America is the Chilean horse breed known as Chilean Corralero, or 
Chile and Criolla. The Criolla count in Chile ranges from 75,000 to 85,000. That is a very huge number. And the breeding mares that are in that number in 40,000 and there are 3,000 stallions as well. Arabian Horses Arabian horses are horses that have their origin in the Arabian Peninsula region. The Arabian horses are considered as the top breed horses because of their speed, endurance, refinement, and strong bones. They are very distinctive because of their unique facial bones and high tail carriage. Being one of the best breeds of horses around the world, it is only natural for anyone to have the question, how much does an Arabian horse cost in their head? The answer for that was a very drastic price range, starting from $5,000 to a whopping $85,000. Arabian horses are considered one of the most superior because of their agility, speed, and power. This is why you will get a costly answer to the question, how much does an Arabian horse cost? Bringing you more value per minute than any other pets channel out there, or at least trying to. We would appreciate if you at least like or share this video. That would mean the world to us.